Welcome to Jesus Calling for October 16th. Look to me continually for help, comfort, and companionship. This will be good. Let's look up Psalm 34 verses 4 to 6 and then 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 to 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, the chapter title is The God of All Comfort. I love this verse. I'm going to go ahead and start with three. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. For just as the sufferings of Christ flow over into our lives, so also through Christ our comfort overflows. Isn't that comforting? And then Psalm 34, starting with verse 4. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look at him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. And I love verse eight. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. Some more comforting words from Psalm 34. Look to me continually for help, comfort, and companionship, because I am always by your side. The briefest glance can connect you with me. I have that underlined. I'm going to read it again, because we need to know that the briefest glance can connect us to God, right? Just looking up and asking for his help can connect us. When you look to me for help, it flows freely from my presence. This recognition of your need for me in small matters as well as large ones keeps you spiritually alive. When you need comfort, I love to enfold you in my arms. I enable you not only to feel comforted, but also to be a channel through whom I comfort others. And isn't that important that we can comfort others? Thus, you are doubly blessed because a living channel absorbs some of whatever flows through it. I'm going to read that again. Let's back that up. Thus, you are doubly blessed because a living channel absorbs some of whatever flows through it. So if peace and love are flowing through us from the Father, we're going to absorb some. But he gives us so much so we can pass it out to other people. I love it. My constant companionship is the pièce de résistance little French there, the summit of salvation blessings. No matter what losses you may experience in your life, no one can take away this glorious gift. Oh, I just love that one so much. I love the fact that she's saying just the briefest glance looking up can just connect us to God, right? And that's why every day you want to start with a devotion or your Bible study. Remember, Jesus is calling every day. We have to pick up the phone and answer. But just that briefest glance can connect us. And then peace and love are flowing through us, which means it can flow out through us to everyone else because he always gives you way more. I mean, he gives me always way more than I need, right? So I can always pass it on to other people. But it's just so nice to know that he's just waiting to do that for us, you know? And if we don't feel his peace and his love, that's because we're blocking the flow. You know, like when you've got like a lot of hair in your sink, you know, and you're blocking the flow of the getting it out. You got to go in there and clean it out. Little rotor rooter. So maybe your heart needs a little rotor rooter today. Clean that out. Get a clean flow going. Just glance up to him. Ask for his peace and presence. And he is going to fill you up to overflowing, my friend. Overflowing. We're just going to be oozing out love and joy everywhere we go, right? That's going to make a great day for us and for everyone around us. So have a great day. And I will see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own Jesus Calling devotional book by going to JesusCalling.com. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, NancyJoyToYou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.